The staff weapon traditionally associated with female fighters in Japan is the naginata. It was a very versatile weapon. As you can see, it's got a very long shaft and a very long reach. It could be used to deliver wide sweeping cuts to the opponent. In the heart of modern Osaka, the ancient naginata techniques are still taught. Midori Tanaka is a grand master of a martial arts school which teaches a fighting style unchanged since the 14th century. あの、私は9歳から父である、あ、早期である父についてあの稽古してるんですけれども、あの、次の早期になるということで、あの、責任が重大だなと毎日ひしひしと感じております。The naginata is ideal for female fighters. What matters most is skill and speed. In combat, the naginata is as lethal as the famous samurai sword. This is the entrance to a samurai mansion. Now here we have some naginata. Naginata are often given as wedding gifts so that a wife can defend the home if needs be. They're on the wall next to the entrance in case of emergencies. Naginata fighting is still practiced as a sport in Japan. Yet in Grandmaster Midori's school, it's taught the traditional way. Designed to kill your enemy. If a woman had to defend herself, the naginata was an extremely good weapon because the length of the shaft meant that she could keep an opponent at bay who may otherwise have the advantage in terms of strength and weight. こっちの足切ったんですけれども、もしこっちの足を上げられてもすぐ投げたらこう返せるので何回でもいけるんですね。何回でも行けましょうか。はい。何回でも行けましょうか。<笑><笑>